In today's video, we are going to see if it is possible to make a smoothie with a garbage disposal. Big announcement, guys. The book 52 Random Weekend Projects is now available for sale. We want to offer a special thanks to everyone who pre-ordered to help support Grant and the channel. Guys, we really hope you enjoy this book and we would love to see the projects that you do. So remember, take a picture, post it on Instagram with the hashtag 52 Random Weekend Projects. For anyone who pre-ordered and submitted the receipt, check the mail very soon because you are going to be receiving a signed book plate. Thanks again for all your support. If you haven't ordered yet, head down to the description to order yours today. Guys, sometimes you give us fantastic ideas for things that we can do in video. Sometimes they're in the YouTube comments, uh, our Discord, you see them on Reddit. Fun fact, our friends and family do this to us too. So we could be minding our own business at 2 a.m. and we might get an all caps text message that says, Callie, what happens if you try to make a fruit smoothie with a garbage disposal? Well, Alex, now I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Here's the basic idea. Most American household kitchens will have garbage disposals in their sinks. We wanna see if it's possible to make a smoothie with these. Can we put fruit, ice, and other food items through the garbage disposal and make an edible or drinkable drink? So now we have to know. You pulverize food in these things. This goes in the bottom of your sink. You put your leftovers, whatever is you know gone bad in your fridge, you pulverize it in the garbage disposal and you never see it again. I do think that this can pulverize things well enough to make something that might be some sort of semblance of a smoothie. Uh, it's, we're gonna have to see. Now I'm for excited. a smoothie, you pretty much always wanna use frozen fruit. It doesn't have to be. You yeah. can use non-frozen fruit, but that's how fruit, it's often done. Yogurt, so uh, juices. Yeah, ice. we've we've got a lot of frozen fruit. We've yep. got some fruit juice concentrate. We've got some strawberry ice cream, some milk, some ice, and of course water. So a milkshake will happen eventually. I think we'll try uh -huh. both a smoothie and a milkshake with Definitely. this. Definitely. I don't know how well the garbage disposal handles frozen fruit. So that's kind of the big experiment today. Like I know it can chew stuff up, but I don't think we put anything frozen in there. And do we do we put it all in at the same time? Can we just put like a glob of some stuff and then just like some ice and then some water? Like my kind of thought process was we take everything and then just we take some fruit and yeah. some ice and then we would take like a really heavily juice concentrated mm -hmm. water and pour that in while it's running. Mm -hmm. So hopefully like that helps flush the fruit to the sides and get chewed up and then whatever we get out of our lovely spout here, which has been extended with duct tape so it doesn't just pour down into the machine. If you guys don't remember when we were pulverizing fruit and other things when we had this outside during the summer, yes, some of the fruit was just sort of glopping down, but some of it was just spraying <laughs> across the yard. We might have to be really careful about, you know, where we're we- We're gonna have to catch this This, this might have to be kind of hold the cup right here. Extreme not sports just, smoothies. It's, it's, there's a lot of unknowns here, so hopefully we don't have to spend too much on carpet cleaning today, but we'll see. I'll make Alex come clean the carpet. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, we kind of forgot about the top part. I have pineapple on me. So I would say it can definitely handle frozen fruit. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. But we have no flowing smoothie. Okay, so here's my thought. Just uh... Love it. Love, love, love. Stuff it full so we'll of fruit. This full of fruit. That juice goes juice. in here. Hopefully, smoothie comes out this side. Hopefully. I like it. Maybe stuff some ice in there too. This port is normally where water comes from your dishwasher and goes into your sink. It just likes to drop it right down into the garbage disposal. However, we're not connecting it to a dishwasher. We're connecting it to a funnel. And we're going to put juice in it. <laughs> Peaches, strawberries. I do want to thank Nate because he shows up at the studio today with all the stuff and he goes, I didn't get the actual mix that's made for smoothies of frozen fruit in the store because it had mangoes in it. And that wouldn't have been a fun time for me in the studio. So thank you, Nate. You're welcome. Appreciated. This is great. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Stop. <laughs> well, I've got good news and bad news. Bad news is that I chose the wrong size of cup. I should have been using this cup. Good news is that seemed to work pretty good. 
I have started pouring more because I realized we were getting a new color, meaning the ice cream hadn't got all the way through yet. It did, yeah. At and first, at first we were getting something really thin, but then more of the stuff in there actually started getting blended in. And this I stuff realized it was like, end. oh, water pressure. <laughs> but, but it was, we were out of cup. I'm just gonna try it. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> oh wow, that's strong. <laughs> this is very concentrated, and I like it. I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually really like it. Okay, that worked. <laughs> it's quite good. It's really good. All right, and I do want to su suggest something a little weird, so I want to do it again. Yep. But I want to just pour this back into that uh -huh. and reprocess this as our liquid because most of this is too runny. Yeah, because so it's weird. there's still some, I'm seeing ice cream chunks, and that's why I was trying to get the pressure, so I just needed to be pouring faster, but now we know that we need larger cup. <laughs> larger cup and less of everything else. Like, we had a lot of juice and too much of everything else. I like that, though. Yep. There were, we, we didn't have it all perfect, but I liked it. So, same thing, we'll just turn it on. Wait five Everything seconds. Everything here is being misused from the kitchen. That's the top of a mic. Well, no, that, that's the door of a microwave. Three, two, one. Yeah, little bits at a time. Good? Yeah. That is a smoothie. If you'll take this, I need to go call my friend. That's a good smoothie. <laughs> it's possibly the best idea I've ever heard because I was so curious because it seems like it should work. Yep. And it totally works. Okay, I want an icy. I want a ginger ale fruit icy. Because I like smoothies sometimes, I like milkshakes sometimes, but I usually prefer something a little bit more refreshing. I want an icy. All right. All right. Just got a lot of processed berry flying out here. Get that, <laughs> we, we need some liquid. Keep it going, keep it going. That's it. All right. <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah? Get in on this. It's more raspberry than anything. It's a raspberry ginger ale. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, chewy. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> we did it again. It's fine, I got you. <laughs> it's just fine now. Dang it. <laughs> it's very good. Mm. It's Tillamook ice it's cream. It's a very thin milkshake, but I like it a lot. Yeah. We are three for three with this thing. It works great. We made a smoothie. We made whatever you call that. It was so it's good. Icy. And we made a milkshake and they all work great. It's a little messy right now. I would say we want more of like a downspout thing and a, just always overestimate the size of cup. Or, you know, be more reasonable about the amount of ingredients. Guys, <laughs> is there any other food product that you want us to try and make in a garbage disposal? Because I'm pretty sure if we get enough comments, we could probably make a full meal with this thing. Oh, goodness. That is legitimately as good of a smoothie as I've had at, like, smoothie shops where you pay $6 for your little smoothie. That's a delicious uh, milkshake. 
I still don't know exactly what that's called, but it's, it was pretty good. It's just an icy. I, I blend up fruit in the blender and add soda. They are a little thinner texture. Yep. Making a smoothie in a blender, I often kind of need a spoon to eat it. Yep, it's very thick. This we needed a lot of liquid to just sort of force everything out. Yeah. I mean, I could have tried to blow down too, but at a certain point. And maybe if we were a little more careful, we could have gotten a thicker texture, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> it totally worked and I loved it. Guys, Bye. let us know in the comments below if you want to add on to this trend that my insomniac friend gave us. It's pretty great. Hey, Alex. Alex, you see this? This is all your fault, Alex. Well guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Should we make another one? <laughs>